All right, Doug from Salt Lake. What's up? What's up? March 10th, 2019. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I'm not getting paid for anything I say. I'm just doing this to document what's going on in my life. Uh, if it helps you, if you'd like to get the paperwork, uh, you know, if you want to contact, if you got questions, you know, there's a lot of information out there. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm available. Uh, for help, I can, you know, I, I'm not a guru. Uh, I don't have all the answers, but uh, I do know uh, from all the stuff that I've read that you have to follow certain um, administ—you you have to follow certain processes or a certain process, an administrative process. That's what they're going to do to you, so you have to do the same thing back to them. Okay. They are trying to contract with you. And when I say they, I mean these people that send you shit in the mail that says you owe us. Okay? There is no money. They are talking to your straw man. They are talking to your all capitalized name, which is your transmitting utility that you use out there in commerce. Um, so let's get into this. We uh, The first thing I wanted to show you was this is all the Department of Workforce Services unemployment, okay? So I took out, you know, I, I talked about it in my last video. Uh, I have sent these people 20 different documents, termination letters, final notices, filed a lawsuit. Of course, I went to court and they dismissed it. They just did a motion to dismiss because I hadn't done my administrative process. Okay, so I tried to go into their court with their uh, assistant attorney generals, um, and just real quick, you'll you'll see that this says, "Do you understand?" This is something that I got from urlaw.org. Okay, and this is actually pretty powerful. So this is a word document, and it says in there a couple of different things that you say to the attorney general, and it says basically before I you know, contract with you, I want you to write down on a piece of paper your legal and lawful authority to bother me at all, okay? Well, as you can see, I've dealt with Shannon Joy, and I've dealt with this woman, Amanda McPeck. I've dealt with Janet Munoz, okay? Sent another one, sent another one, another one to Amanda. Here's Ryan Stevens and Joel Farrell, and here's Stephen Combe, and all these people... Okay, are all assistant attorney generals and none of them would send me a piece of paper with their name signed under penalty of perjury or anything. So what they do is they just leave you alone for a month and then they send you another contract and then they send you another contract and I send them a termination letter and then they send me another one from this guy or from this lady. So this is how they play the game, okay? And the reason they're doing this is because I have not followed my administrative procedures, my process, okay? So this is, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm not going to bore you. We're not going to make this a long one. But this is going to be my first letter to them. And click your heels together three times, Dorothy, and you can go home. Remember, so there's three of them here, okay? This is going to be a notice of conditional acceptance, which means, okay, you want a contract? Fine, but show me the money, okay? This says this is a legal notice. Please read it carefully. If you fail to comply, then you will be deemed to be in agreement with my fee schedule, okay, which we'll go into. Thank you for your recent contact regarding a potential liability, okay? They say I owe them $5,000. Jesus Christ, man. I took $200 from uh, um, uh, employment, unemployment, okay? More than uh, they said that I was supposed to. I used their codes and statutes and showed them that I met poverty guidelines, federal poverty guidelines, that I was within my right, and they still fucked me, okay? So it's all about the money. They don't care. They break their own fucking laws. So anyway, we're trying to, you know, get these guys... Uh, if you look at this stuff, termination letters, final notices, termination letters, you know, demands for relief, okay? 
so it's it's just like over and over and over. Listen, dude, you guys screwed me. I use your codes. They don't care. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this. Okay. There's three of them. Notice of conditional acceptance. Okay. This is what I want. I want to see the contract. I want you to validate the debt. Okay. I'll, it, I'll just stop it here so you can, you can read it. Okay. And then here is another nice thing that I found on this template that I liked. Uh, these are the terms of a lawful contract, full disclosure. We all know there's no full disclosure in anything of this stuff that they do. Equal consideration, which means we both had an opportunity to add stuff, to, you know, to, you know, cross things out and add and, and, you know, get rid of this. And, well, I don't like the right. No, we didn't have any of that. The TOS, you never have the terms and conditions on there. Not Never. And the signature of both parties, a meeting of minds. You don't have, you know, corporations can't sign because they have no right, no mind, no contract. Okay, they're legal fictions. So there is no signature of the parties on any of their paperwork. And you know that from looking at it. Maybe once in a while there's somebody's name, but there's no meeting of the minds. There's no full disclosure. It's all void. Okay, so uh, you're a third party. Okay, you have no lawful authority. I'll let you... I'll just stop that, let you read it. Okay, cease and desist. So I make a request that all further communications be in writing only. Therefore, you are hereby served. Okay, as of today, under protection, uh, protection from harassment. Okay, any calls, texts. Uh, furthermore, you are to cease and desist in any attempt to contact family, friends, and neighbors. Any further unauthorized communications from you or any of your affiliates, okay, to the above mention, okay, answered or will not incur administration fees at lounge and schedule below. So here's the schedule, okay, it's a thousand bucks every time you send me something that's bogus. It's a thousand bucks per letter. It's $150 an hour for me, for my time to write up this stuff and answer you. And it's 500 for telephone calls. It's fifteen hundred dollars if you knock on my door. Okay, so there you go. There's me. Now, the second one's going to go out March twentieth because again, you have to send these things out, and you have to make sure you got the certified mail numbers. Okay, everything. There's three steps, right? So here's the notice of non-response because I know they're not going to respond. Okay, here's your reference number. Here's what you did. This is not just a letter. Okay, this is a legal notice. Okay, I wish to deal with you in this matter in honor. You always want to stay in honor. This is a notice of non-response informing you that you are in dishonor. This notice is in reference to your notice of conditional acceptance. Right, so what's the first one? Okay, notice of conditional acceptance, March 10th. Okay, so here's the, all the numbers and the dates and the, you know, the, the amount and all that. Okay. So everything looks good. This is what I asked for. Okay. You didn't send it to me. You failed to adequately respond or have ignored the contents of that notice. Okay. So now, you know, I'm, I'm setting them up. Here's the terms of a lawful contract again. Now, now that you uh, are in dishonor, I also want the following, okay? I want to see your license to practice as a debt collector, okay? I want your license with the Secretary of State regarding your authority. Probably won't, they'll probably just say, oh, we can do whatever we want. Consumer credit license, that's the one where they have the hotline to, you know, the three major credit companies to where they can just call and say, hey, you know, this guy owes us and they can ruin your credit. And your public liability insurance details, which is basically your bond information. Everybody's got to get bonded. Uh, so this is, we'll go into this some other time. Okay. So I'll let you, I'll stop it, let you read it. Okay. Same thing. You're a third party. You don't have authority, right? This is what I asked for. Cease and desist. Okay, here's my fee schedule. You already have it. Fees are payable in 21 days. 
Okay? Now, if they can do this shit to you, why can't you do it to them? Right? So I'm just writing it up just the way they do it. Right? If I don't answer them, they say I'm in default. Well, guess what? So now we're looking at a notice of irrevocable estoppel by acquiescence. What's acquiescence? That's you ignored me. You didn't answer me. You're in default. So basically that means that now our contract is irrevocable because I gave you a chance to validate and you didn't. Okay? Let you read that. Okay, it is important that you acknowledge and understand that this is not a letter again, but a legal notice. Okay, there's a difference, I guess. Okay, you didn't respond. I hereby declare that the lawful, so the, the law of the agent and principal shall apply and that service upon one is service upon the other. Okay, so that's basically the same thing as this. Notice to agent is notice to principal. Okay, so that just says that whoever is and, or reading this, is you know you're, you're the same thing as the corporation okay that's all that means and again third party attempt to enforce leave lawful authority you don't have any govern yourself accordingly and now that uh i've sent you a couple of documents and they called me once that's how all this started i'm going to book them for 500 bucks for the phone call and three billable out billable hours okay for consultation that's it uh 150 a, a pop so they now owe me 950 dollars so you need to pay me the next time you send me a, a letter okay so that's what i've been working on and uh so yeah this uh first one's gonna go out today this is my conditional acceptance and of course they're not going to answer so they're going to get a notice of non-response and then irrevocable estoppel now these should be used to go into a small claims court and say hey listen man i've asked these people to validate this debt and they haven't here's all my certified mails here's all my documents they have uh you know failed to respond i need summary judgment i mean it sounds pretty simple right if you've got the right paperwork so we'll see you guys take care